Okay, guys, this is part two of English 8. Okay, it says, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me, Psalms 51.10. The word create is a verb, okay? Create what, okay? Okay, create a heart. So heart is a direct object. Because so, what's this, what is the subject? The subject is an understood you. You create God, because only God can create it. So you is our subject. You create what? You create heart, okay? What is God? God is a direct address. You're talking to God, so that's a direct address. Then we have the second sentence, renew a right spirit within me. Within me is a prepositional phrase. That means that the word me is the object of the preposition. Then we have the verb is renew. Who renews? You, referring to God, you renew what? Spirit. So spirit is a direct object. Look at number two. Here we have no continuing city, but we seek, no, we seek one to come. Okay? What kind of city do you have? A continuing city. If it answers the question what kind, it is an adjective. Look at the next one. The word is we. We is a pronoun. Okay? It's, it's a subjective case pronoun, okay? We seek. And we seek to come. To come is going to be a verbal, okay? So now we have to think, what does that verbal tell us, okay? And it's going to tell us we seek who? The one, right? What, which one? The one to come. So to seek tells us which one. So it is an adjective. Number three, show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Okay? Show is the verb. Who shows? You show. You show what? You show ways. So ways is a direct object. You show ways to whom or for whom that is me. So me is the indirect object. Look at the next one. It asks about the word paths. Teach me what? Teach me paths. Paths is a direct object. Number four, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Am, come is the verb. Who or what am come? I, I am come. Why? Why did you come? To destroy, okay? So to destroy is a verbal, now I understand the word not is there, okay, not is an adverb, okay? Okay, to destroy is a adverb telling us why he came, okay? Number five, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him, okay? What is the verb in this sentence? Became and obey. Obey is a verb. Who or what became? He, he became, what kind of verb is became? It's a linking verb. So I have to look for a predicate nominative or a predicate adjective. He became, he is equal to author. Okay, the author and he are equal. So author is a predicate nominative. Then look at salvation. What is salvation? It is the object of a preposition because the prepositional phrase is of eternal salvation. So salvation is the, is the object of the preposition. Number six, make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Okay? What's the verb? Make. Who make? You make. You make what? You make noise. Since make is an uh, action verb, noise is a direct object. Unto God is a prepositional phrase that makes God the, the object of the preposition, okay? Also, lands, all ye lands. What is lands? It is a direct address. In other words, all you people, people, I'm talking to you, okay? That's kind of the, that's how the word lands can be a direct address. Look at no, exercise E. I'm going to read you with the correct one, okay? You should have circled the correct one if you 
cross out the cross out and circle it, okay? A loving pastor will teach or learn his people to study God's word for themselves. Teach. Ain't or is it? The answer is, is it? Isn't this morning that, isn't this the morning that you had to raise or rise? You had to rise early to meet Gina at the airport. Remember, the word raise has to have an object, okay? We ought or we had ought to start. We ought to start early on our journey. We want through or want to get through. We want to get through this jungle before nightfall, our guide stated. How will our sitting or setting higher academic goals help the class? How will our setting, S-E-T-T-I-N-G, Alicia laid or Alicia lay down for a short nap after Sunday lunch? Alicia lay, L-A-Y. Liam fell and broke or busted his leg during the hike? He broke. I better or I had better rest before the ball game tonight? I had, excuse me, had better. Sorry about that. Um, number eight, a pump mechanically raises or rises water to the surface from the underground spring. It has an object, right? It has water, so it's going to, it raises. Number nine, can or may I bring or take this package off the truck for you? May I take this package. A lion attacked or attacked the antelope. The lion attacked the antelope. Dragged or drug it to its lair. He dragged it to his lair and ate or ate it. He ate it. Number uh, letter uh, F, exercise F. Okay, we're looking for subject verb agreements. Number one, neither Trisha nor the twins were available to help at the bake sale. Number two, the East Florida Gazette was first published in St. Augustine in 1783. The senior high choir is singing first in the spring concert. Number four, the islands of Great Britain, Ireland, and over 6,000 smaller islands just off of the coast of continental Europe is or are known collectively as the British Isles. Are. 29 cents is or are all that he had in his pocket. 29 cents is because it's one unit. Who is or who are teaching the economic class? Who is? There is or are the teacher you wanted to, to see. There is. The peaches in this pie taste or tastes sour. The peaches in this pie taste sour. Not a question Mrs. Turner would be able to answer. Peaches are gross, okay? A grilled hot dog with chili and chips is or are a tasty lunch. Is a tasty lunch. It's one thing, okay? Now, I want you to turn the page and let's look at page 254. We're looking at pronouns. Remember, if a pronoun is used as the subject of the sentence or a predicate nominative, it has to be in the subjective case. So subjective cases, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, okay? If it's the object of a preposition, a direct object, an indirect object, okay? It has to be in the objective case. It has to be you, me, him, her, us, them. If the pronoun is used as an appositive, it has to match what it is an appositive of. In other words, if it's the appositive of a subject, the, the appositive is in the subjective case. If it's the appositive of a direct object, then it's in the objective case. Okay, let's look at this. Number one, 
we or us team members enjoyed the pep rally that those or them cheerleaders planned, okay? So team members and us or we is the same thing, okay? So we're gonna say we team members enjoyed the pep rally that those cheerleaders planned. The students finished his or their projects yesterday. The students finished their projects yesterday. Number three, Ella and her or Ella and she were praised. Ella and she, because that is the subject of our sentence, were praised for her or their hard work. Well, it's both of them, so it's their. Number four, it is I, it is me. You have a linking verb and the me and, or I, whichever you choose, refers back to our subject. So it's a predicate nominative. So we're going to say I. It is I, answered Cynthia, to Mrs. Smith and her. Okay? It's her because that is the object of a preposition. Number five. The president is or are meeting with the prime minister. The president is meeting with the prime minister and them this afternoon. Number six, everyone must bring his own lunch for the picnic. Okay, guys, I want you to do exercise H and I for homework. I know that's a lot of work, but you have a test on Tuesday. I want to go over these exercises with you and do the next ones. I want to spend all of our class time reviewing verbals with you. So make sure you get these done so we can go through them real quickly tomorrow. All right, have a good weekend.